Plane from Toronto, now unloading at gate one. Oh, there you are, young fellow. How'd you like your first plane trip? Oh, it was a lot of fun. Gee, I wish I were a pilot like you. Why not? But right now, you'd better get ready for that Boston plane. Did the stewardess tell you what to do? Yes, she said to go over to that desk and show the man my ticket. And I just wanted to say, it's long to you. Well, thanks. But now you'd better run along. Gee, this is great. There's nothing to it. You just land in one plane and take off in another. Goodbye. Goodbye. Just land in one plane and take off in another. I suppose that's how it looks to a lot of passengers. Perhaps that's the way you think of it, too. There are so many things going on around an airport that Ray and other passengers never see. They don't realize that there are a great many people working in those buildings, making it safer and easier for the passengers. Would you like to take a little trip with me and find out about some of those unseen jobs? These are the mechanics who keep the airplanes flying. They must make sure that every part of the plane runs safely and smoothly. There's several long flights. The mechanics will take it apart and check everything, even though the plane may seem to be running perfectly. They take the engine all down, examine it to parts it. Then they put the engine back together again and run it at high speed for many hours. The mechanic can tell from the dials just how the parts of the engine are working. Also, the big propellers are balanced just right. They must turn smoothly at high speed. When the big plane is all together again, the mechanics know that it is running perfectly. If a person plans to travel by plane, he naturally wants to be sure that the seat will be reserved for him. Let's take a look at the room where calls for reservations come in. This clerk is ready to take them over her special telephone. The blackboard shows her the numbers of the planes which still have space for passengers. And away the slip goes to be filed. There are many reservation clerks like this one, busy day and night, ready to answer calls. The pilot, too, has been thinking about the safety and comfort of the passengers. Let's drop in and visit him next. Here's a chief pilot just like myself, getting ready to fly his route. He's figuring out the quickest and most comfortable way to fly that route. First, he looks at this drawing that the weatherman has made for him. It tells him what the weather is like all along his route. The chief pilot is responsible for a lot more than just flying his plane. While we're here in this room, I want you to meet another important person. This man is called a dispatcher. You just saw him receiving the chief pilot's report. His main job is to decide just when each plane may take off. Then he must keep track of every plane as it flies between airports. Radio reports from the planes are put up where the dispatcher can see them. The dispatcher has many things on his mind all the time. Well, you've seen the mechanics, the reservation clerk, the chief pilot, and dispatcher. 
Oh, I see Ray's plane is out by the ramp. It's right outside, so let's step out and I'll show you another man that has an important job at the airport. This man is responsible for loading the plane and seeing that it's ready to take off. He's called the ramp agent. He sees that the plane is ready to receive the passengers who will be coming aboard shortly. These large containers hold hot food that has been prepared for hungry passengers, <laughs> like Ray. Fire extinguishers must be held ready, just to be safe when the engines are started. Gasoline is put into the big tanks. There must be enough extra so that the plane can fly many hours beyond its schedule, if it must. But the most important thing that the ramp agent does is to make sure that the whole load is not too heavy. He knows how many passengers will be on the plane. If the seats are all filled, then he can't load so much mail and freight. The ramp agent keeps a careful check to see that the plane can safely carry its load. Well, you've seen many things that Ray and other passengers seldom see. Not less than 60 people are needed to help a passenger land and take off safely and quickly. And then... Attention. 430 plane for Boston, now loading at gate 4. 430 plane for Boston, now loading at gate 4. All aboard. There's one more person that we should know about before Ray's plane takes off. Let's go up to that tower. This man up in the control tower is the traffic control chief. He's like the traffic policeman who makes the car stop and go so that the traffic will run safely. There's Ray's plane down there now. The pilot is preparing to take off. Flight 34 to tower, requesting permission to take off. Over. Tower to flight 34, you may take off on runway C. Watch for small private plane parked near north end. Wind 15 miles, northeast, steady. Go ahead. Happy landings, Ray.